What's up, Internet? Kern1776 here with another video for you. We're going to go down here to the pond, and I'm going to show you this Rapid Cure. It's the uh, water filter system that was in Mission 81, a battle box. So, you know, let you see how it works. It's a great little compact way to filter and purify water when you're on the go or use as a backup if you got another water filtration system or anything like that. So, uh, it's lightweight, easy to pack there when you need it so being completely transparent with you guys here i actually shot a video using this like at a stream in south carolina that was really pretty and got good footage and talked about it a little bit and showed how to use it in a stream application the video files got jacked up and can't use it so i'm having to step back and punt sometimes you got to step back and punt right so we're here at the house i'm gonna go down here to the pond and show you how to use this in with a container or something. Cause I mean, clearly, obviously, you know, with a water filter system like this, a straw type system, I mean, you can just kneel down at a stream or something like that and drink directly from the stream. Can't really kneel down very well here at the pond. So I'm gonna put the water in a container. We're gonna talk about it in case you don't know about it. This way you'll know about it, yeehaw. Sometimes you gotta step back and punt. That's what we're doing. Come on with me, don't go nowhere. So here, I got the pouch. It says Rapid Pure on there. Just three components, which makes this nice because it's not complicated, right? You got literature, directions, telling you about how it works and everything. Comes with a straw. And it comes with this blue housing right here that has your filter in it. You pull the filter out because when you get it, the filter is going to be wrapped in plastic. You got to take the plastic off before you try to use the filter. Common Sense 101. First up, we're gonna take the plastic off here. So on the paper that's around the filter here, it says it's a two and a half inch refill cartridge. So you can buy more of these, obviously, you know, as, as this one gets used. And I recommend you get a couple more of these just so you have them on hand. But purifies 25 gallons and can filter 200 gallons. So that is the filter there, as you can see. It's got a couple O-rings on it there, as you can see. So here's your little canister. I guess you would call it a canister. It's got holes in it. The filter goes inside. You press it so the O-rings are sealed in there nice and tight. And then it's just as simple as installing your straw on there. So that's what you're left with. So if you're at a stream or something like that, so obviously when sourcing water and looking for water and finding water that you're going to use a device such as this. This goes for every water filtration system out there. You wanna find as clean and clear water as possible, uh, visually speaking, and preferably moving water, not stagnant water that's just been sitting or whatever. So my creek right here is dry. We haven't got enough rain for the pond to flow into the creek, but my pond's got really clear water. There's not gonna be any sediment or anything in there. so. I'm going to use that. Obviously, you can just put this in the stream and drink from the straw. Another way you can do it is have a container and consider this your dirty container. You know, you don't you don't want to use this container so you can use your straw and then put clean purified water into this and then drink straight from this because this could be contaminated. So, if you have a container or you've got two, you know, consider one clean container, one a dirty container. We're gonna consider this a dirty container. So I'm simply gonna add some water to this from the pond, and then you simply drop your filter system in and you can drink from it. The cool thing about that is, is you can drink a little bit what you need and you've got some on hand, right? For when you need to drink again, you just break your filter back out and drink from the canister. So this, Kind of has two pluses. It's compact. You can use it standalone by drinking directly from the water source, or you can drop it into a container and do that. Just remember that container is a dirty container. Don't put pure water in it after you've had dirty water in it and expect to drink from it because there still could be contaminants in it. All right, so we're going to get a little water here. Shout out to the subscriber that sent this container here to me several years ago from local 3690 firefighters association this has been an awesome container for me 
So we're going to fill this up. We're not fill it up. We're going to put a little bit of water in here. And now we use our straw. All right, so I've got my dirty water here. I've got my Pioneer straw, Rapid Pure. And drop it down inside the container. All right, and it's going to want to float. You want to get that filter good and saturated. It'll get a little bit heavier once it gets saturated. If you want to give it, get it saturated. Take a few puffs on it. It helps pour the water in there and it'll drop down better. And you simply drink. I went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> went up the right pipe, down the wrong one. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Damn. <laughs> All right. Tastes great. Absolutely zero taste, actually. Some water filters, you still kind of get a, a little bit of a taste, like what you would think pond water would taste like. This tastes just like straight up water out of the tap so it does take a little bit of draw like it, it takes a little bit of effort to get you know the draw that you want to uh bring your filter your water through your filter but uh but yeah that's that's how it works i mean simple as that so again I always treat this as a dirty container until you clean it properly but i do recommend keeping a container with you finding water isn't easy when you do find it you want to get a container of it and the straw works great for that. So another thing that you need to keep in mind is this technically is contaminated from about here down, right? So you need to store it in a way to be able to identify your clean side and your dirty side. Yeehaw, that is a great little compact filter that came in Mission 81 of Battle Box. Yeehaw. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to like, comment down below, subscribe, Hit the bell icon if you're watching this on the YouTubes. And uh, I'll see you next time with another video. Peace out, Cub Scouts.